There's something a little off about this family home. About 50% off, actually. It looks like the house has been cut in half, with one side simply gone. Why? Let's just say money talks. Ah, uh, home sweet home, my goodness me. Dude, where's your house? Half gone, but this half still here. You can't blame poor old Peel you for feeling affronted by his street frontage. Does it not look funny, Peel you? Half, half, exactly. It looks like he's lost half a house to the new development next door. Half a house, it's weird. And a wee bit wacky. Ni hao ma. <laughs> but the answer is found in translation. What can I do for you? Because this family yeah, is digging in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the classic little guy standing firm in the face of some massive development, making this the ultimate David and Goliath battle. Peel Yu lives at number 38 in a busy street in Auburn in Western Sydney. It used to be attached to number 40, but that all changed when number 40 went up in flames five years ago. So we drag him out and we tell him, well, look, at half your house is on fire, you're asleep. The burnt out property was snapped up by a developer, along with number 42 and 42A, for a combined price of three and a half million dollars. Paving the way to build this six story apartment complex the developer also made an offer to Pilu's family to buy their property as well. Price, no good. Price. No, no pay, no, no pay. The price is no good. Yeah, price is no good. Yeah. Mm. Not only wasn't the price right, the developer's offer didn't actually involve any money changing hands. No, no, no money. Maybe no money. No money? No, 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 ah. no, no, no. The cheeky deal was merely a swap. Pilu's two bedroom home and land in exchange for a two-bedroom unit in the new development. You couldn't blame Peel Yu's people for thinking the offer was some sort of joke. <laughs> <laughs> but no one was laughing when the developer tore down the neighbouring semi, leaving Peel Yu's palace looking like it had been cut in half. Maybe you talk, you talk my son, OK? Your son? It took a while to track down Peel Yu's son, David. Can you tell me where David, the homeowner, is? Maybe he's at work. David told a current affair he didn't think the developer's offer was genuine. He purchased the property for $330,000 in 2004 and believed it was worth way more than the 600 grand price tag of the two bidder the developer was offering in exchange for his home. Hello. Neighbours agree. How are you? You well? How much is it worth you? Around 1.2. Looks like Pilu's clan made a good call because the development next door has stalled. Can I ask you what your thoughts are? It's a dump. It's terrible. Badly designed. The New South Wales Building Commission nailed a stop work order to it for failing to lodge correct paperwork on time, including fire protection. Hey, how long has it been quiet for? Almost a year now. Has it? Yeah. Almost a year? Yeah. In attempts to tackle the housing shortage across the country, perhaps this is the price of progress. But they've taken the other half. <laughs> so what can you do, my friend? Here in Sydney's Auburn, there's no shortage of new high-rises towering over old homes. Do you think there's overdevelopment here? Over? It's, of course it's over. But not on Peelieu's watch, no matter the eyesore. OK, Peelieu. Good chat. Good chat. Bye. Yeah, we say stand firm and good on you, Pilu.